Hello everyone, welcome back to I'll just play in I was gonna say Stone Block 2. It's Stone Block 2. I was gonna say Enigmatic. I was gonna say I was gonna say Enigmatic 2 and then I was gonna say Stone Block 2. And it's actually Stone Block 2 all along, so uh eat your heart out people who are actually good at this, I am better. So uh what we're gonna do I've taken this off here. Something in here making a heck of a lot of noise. Um which I'm not a fan of. I I see that you are not really pulling stuff from over there. Working area. Expect it to. Oh, I guess we want it to be maybe one block down. We can fix that. That's easy because we can just. I, I don't mind this. This is fine. <laughs> Everything's okay. Uh, no. I'm gonna say that was a misclick, but not a problem. But it's probably. Let's fix it. I um <clears throat> finished off the ender stuff here. So fluid conduit here. The energy conduit here, and then the item conduit also here, and then they're all going. You can see how that works. That's going into there. We did this last episode, um, so everything is as it's supposed to be, except for the fact that we now want to make extract always active, and let's have a look here. Uh, give me this. Do -do -do. Items. I think it's correct. <laughs> it's a little bit weird that they're all at a wonky angle, but I believe that is right. We don't want items. There we go. And then, so items are going up there, up there, there, then fluids are... If it, if there's already a fluid in the pipe and you place a new pipe, thus, you know, it doesn't connect, you can right click on that side to connect it. Uh, we didn't need to do that, but we need to do it here, and then energy is just straight in there. So that should be getting everything it needs, except that it now needs its range upgrade back. Excuse me? I rotated it by accident, and now I'm a very sad person. What has happened? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you like this? My dog died. Oh, I'm so upset. I mean, it was a bit of annoying. But it's not fair. It shouldn't have to. Um, I didn't put an ender chest in here yet. Because I don't care about it. Compact raw pork chop. Excuse me. Filter from EU2. That might be useful at some point. Lewix block is also going to be useful. Uh, slow growth. So remember, we thought that maybe we could send stuff over there to the ender chest. And then I thought, well, what if we had a different ender chest? Uh, that was able to do the other bits without um, accidentally voiding or putting everything in that other crate thingy. So I think maybe that is what we're going to do. First, but first, we will finish off this thing because we need to take this away. We need to take this away. I'm really sad about Wolf, actually. It's not very fair. It would not happen this way, but... You know, sometimes nice things happen to bad things happen to nice people, and nice things happen to bad people. So this is the way of the world. Okay, I'm gonna have to just. Um, this should be active. This is always active. So the other thing, ah, yes, there was another thing that we can do, and I will show you that. But first, yeah. Um, thirdly and firstly, we will do this. If we uh put this here. This shouldn't be necessary, but we can do it anyway. Um, this has liquid meat, and this has pink slime, and then that is liquid essence. This is on green. Uh, no, we're not allowed to do that yet. Okay, never mind. Uh, these ones have colours, but the liquid ones don't, so we won't worry about that for now. I'm just going to get the liquid. Oh, actually, we might have to. Um, this is a liquid pipe, a fluid conduit. And this is an item conduit. If we have a look at the item conduit... We can choose the channel that the item goes on, but when we see liquid go out of here and up here, we see that it fills up the pipe. So we can only have one liquid going through e these conduits at any one time, but there is an opportunity uh, fluid conduit here. Um, there is an end of fluid conduit. Allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line. These ones do not. This one, vibrant alloy, which is... Energetic alloy, which is 
redstone, gold, and glowstone. So we can actually get some of that. And I'm tempted to, because it will mean that we can have three different uh, fluids going along here at the same time. Uh, but for now, we're not going to bother with that. We'll just leave those two there, because what we really want out of this is... I guess we only want the liquids out of this, but like, who cares? Um, for now, we can hook up this, but we should turn it off, right? So what we're going to do is going to say active on redstone signal. This one should also be active on redstone signal, but I'm perfectly content to leave that going for now. Um, let's have a look back here and make sure that is correct. That's exactly the right size, actually. I mean, everything could be one bigger that way, because it, it does cover that area. And I think I will do that off camera at some point, um, but I'm not going to do it now, because that's boring and who cares. But when we turn this on, it will do the thing producing pink slime and liquid meat, which is what we want to do in the future, but uh, that's not as easy and it's not as fun, and who cares? So we'll do that later. And now, what do I want to do this episode? What do I want to do this episode? Well, I would like to, first of all, why have we got so few? Second of all, can we um, smell any of this down? Yes. And also, we can do it in sand so this is one of the reasons i want is sand permanently in that other induction smelter over there is that we can uh, excuse me whilst i sneeze <coughs> um we can turn these things back into ingos just by shoving them in an induction smelter that has sand in it uh like this one which doesn't have sand in it but it could do if we just put sand in it like this wait and that can go in there it does take a while we can also shove these in here and I wonder if iron and gold blend. Find out. No? Yes. Just shove all that in there. It won't uh, blend if it didn't, if you know what I mean. So that's also fine. Um, let's try and make those... And, oh, oh, by the way, I put this all together. So all I did was replace the translocators that we had here with these. And then what happens is any, everything that goes in here will now end up in there although a little bit more slowly why are you not okay fair enough. um this is priority one and then that over there is priority zero so anything will it will try to go into the um i mean this stuff should be in the <laughs> the other place anyway so it's not really the best thing right now but um everything should try and go in here first and if you can't manage it it'll go in there now uh, the plan was to have a second ender chest, and the thing the second ender chest would do would be to um, either try to go into here, or bypass that and get deleted. <laughs> um, that doesn't seem like a great idea, because it will just be deleted. Mm. Is that a bad idea? Because effectively it means that we can replace the, the, the trash can over there, by the mob farm with a trash can over here on a different channel if that makes sense and then yeah that does make sense because then the quote unquote trash can I'm putting torches everywhere that are that is over there will now be an ender chest that has the option to not quite delete something just yet uh, and then after that has failed to be deleted then it will go into here so we need another ender chest over here somewhere might as well be here. Um, how do we make ender chests? It's blaze rods. Get some blaze rods. Uh, ender chests. Ender chests. We're going to need four blaze rods and some obsidian. Can I make blaze rods out of anything? No. <laughs> There's a compactor that will turn this into that. Um, how do we get blaze rods then if we are not allowed to go into the end? I believe that we're getting them from loot crates right now, which is why we've got some. Mob drops, obviously, from the blaze, but we can't make blazes just yet. Loot crates, just from the uncommon one. Uh, these are some other things that we really should get into, by the way. These, uh, But we're not there yet. So, I mean, we could have been there a long time ago, but... Uh, a mystical agriculture. We can't make another ender chest. Uh, just ignore it. Let's do something else. I don't know what else to do. Because <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for not being able to... Make Ender chest. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Red. Red. Uh, in Ender IO, which is the one we've been dealing with before, there is also this redstone conduit, which is redstone alloy ingots. 
which is uh, redstone and silicon, of which we've got plenty. So we can uh, quite easily just whack a few of those in there. Right, that'll do. I mean, five is probably completely the wrong number. I'm not entirely sure if that gave me one or two of those. You are working. Correct. Well done. And have a little bit of that. And then here, oh, we've got a compactor. Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot I made it. Moving one. Right click to take a block. Right click again to place it down. That would have been helpful earlier, wouldn't it? Um, we'll put this in here and try not to accidentally overclock it. Uh, good, we have actually got blaze rods, so let's do that. We actually have eight. Which is even better. Now I can make two ender chests. Whilst we're waiting for that ender chest, we can make this. It's going to be one chest, two obsidian and some ender pearls and some wool. Wool's going to be a lot easier as we go along because... <laughs> um, well, it's going to be a lot easier because we can make it out of string, and string is going to happen a lot because of all those spiders that we're throwing. So, you can give me that. Go in here, and then we should be able to make wool quite easily. Eight of those, please. Wool. Ta da! And then our obsidian should be back over there. So. <laughs> It's not really worth <laughs> doing that all the time. Just the novelty of it. Four of these. And then we didn't pick up another ender pearl because we're silly, but that's okay. Um, let's do this. This ender chest is going to go here. Uh, I don't like the positioning. Do it this way. You give me this. Put these here like this. Draw control. Really can go anywhere, so it might as well go up here. Oop. And then you are going to be put on green. Um <clears throat> so the problem is that the ender chest that we put oh, wait a second. The ender chest that we put over here back is going to be extract on not green this is always going to be um insert on green so we're going to have to have a second side to this that inserts on not green i think that's okay though because we only really need two ender chests one that is guaranteed to be kept and one that is a trash can so uh, in order to make it different we need black dye, which I remember was a problem a while ago. Uh, and we're back. Well, we don't need black dye. We need any color dye. But I was going to make it black to indicate the fact that it was it was a void chest, basically. Um, so interesting question: What dyes do we have? And what other options do we have? So let's go have a look in our grassy knoll area. I don't like the arrangement of this place, but for now, I guess we'll be okay. Yeah, so there's, there's like lots of stuff in here that we've got duplicated elsewhere. Especially that inferior mess there. Uh, can we turn this into die? No. So what options do we have for die? Die. We have ink sack, fair enough. Roses and things. I guess we could just bone meal the ground and make a like a red one or something. Um, how do we make black? We don't make black. Black artificial dye is dye mixer. What? <laughs> what? These just output what random? I don't understand. Uh, black pigment from black wool. I need a black sheet. Black concrete. Blend. Sometimes, if you pulverize black wool, you get black pigment. I don't know. Floral black powder comes from black thingy. So there's another thing I want to get into, which is mystical agriculture. And it may be starting to get over time that we did that. Uh, maybe in the next episode. This is already 14 minutes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bone meal the ground. 
I'm sure that we needed uh, dye for because we wanted to make. I mean, <laughs> at some point maybe we would like to get on with our quests, maybe. But uh, it is not this day. So let's bone meal this and just try and get some yellow. I just want a different color from the one that we've got already. So this is fine. I mean, I could have just used the other piece of wool. <laughs> that would that would have worked fine too. Um. Great, so let's turn this into dandelion yellow. I'm just going to use one of the three. So what you can do is if you um, put color, see how you can just about see that you can highlight the three individual colors as well as the whole box. So if you do that, you can change the color of it. Um, and then if we go over here and make another one, Oh, is it fine? And then just make another one and put this down. Then, if we open this one now, it opens the white one over there. And if we change the color of it and open it, it opens the yellow one over there. Perfect. So now, this one eventually, you, we can take this over here and replace the trash can with this. Um, everything's so far away in this town. The rubbish place. Who would live here? Right, uh, let's mm, open the can in there. Pick up this trash can. Replace it with this ender chest, which, by the way, you can still open. In Minecraft, normally you can't open a chest if there's something in it. But, uh, a bit hand waved right now. The, uh, the, the yellow ender chest will now be a void ender chest until we can get some black powder and then we can make it. Uh, not black powder. Oh, no. <laughs> Explosions everywhere. So this is going to be extract on brown. <laughs> uh, this is going to be... I right-click the top of this and connect it. No. Yes, a wrench. Shift left-click. Up. It's going to be insert on brown at priority one. And then over here, I'm going to put our trash can down. And then this is going to be insert on brown at priority zero. So now... Anything that ends up in here will be, oh, hang on, definitely going to be voided. Ah, uh, I've got a better idea, I've got a better idea, extract on brown, no insert, nothing. You, extract on green, insert on brown. So anything, uh, no, that's bad. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The whole point is... Hmm. I want you to try that, then that, then that. Yes, okay, no, fine. Uh, wait. <laughs> In that case, this should try that and then that and then not that. This should try that and then that and then that. I feel like this is a simple way of doing this, but I'm going to do it the obvious way. Oops. If you were to, for example, trash can here, put this item conduit here, get some more item conduits, and put one here and here. I guess you can put it here for cleanness' sake. And uh, get rid of this. Yes, a wrench, though. So now, if we are doing this properly, we can go, this one should be insert on green, priority one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, no extract. This one should be insert on brown, priority zero, no extract. Excuse me? Doing this? Or trash can insert on well, okay fair enough i turned it off somehow but that's okay this should be extract on brown this should be insert on brown oh should be insert on brown priority one right well let's make it priority two insert on brown priority yes we did need to do this because this needs two connections not this this will be insert on 
brown, priority one, and no extract. This will be insert on green, priority zero. Nothing green will go into here, and then this will be insert on brown, priority zero. So, in theory, if we put this in here, this will be extracted from here, always active, end up in here. Ta-da! If we put something like cobblestone in here, that should increase that. We need we need speed upgrades on that because that's going to go slow, right? That's a problem. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, if this gets full, it gets deleted, uh, like this. However, what we can do is make a filter for this. To prevent anything going in there that we really don't want to delete. But honestly, most of this stuff showed up on its own and I didn't do anything about it. I didn't do anything to do. It was all free. <laughs> I don't care about most of this stuff already. Uh, you can put the filter in there, so that's where that comes from. Incidentally, that's the filter that we got for free recently anyway. So that's cool. And all of this is probably going to change at some point because when we get an ME system, which we will work on very soon, it's going to be doing it automatically for us anyway, so we can decide what we keep and what we throw away and where we put everything. And eventually we'll have uh, something similar to this, but digital. It's going to be a lot simpler, but a lot less cool looking. So let's put all this stuff away. Right, redstone alloy, that's what we were doing whilst we were waiting. I think that is the simplest way of doing that. Uh, I'm ready to be corrected. <clears throat> Remember, I wanted stuff in here to be voided eventually, but everything in here never to be voided. So if you can think of a more efficient way of doing that, by all means tell me, and I'm sure I'll come up with it myself off camera if I was to put any uh, thought into it, but I, 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 I can't put that much thought in something on camera. It's not like we're playing one of those. This is one of my ghost games. If we, by the way, if you want to see me playing any games, first of all, welcome to buy it for me. Secondly, let me know. Um, there's a few games that I would really like to have played by now that I, I don't have, and I'm not sure if it's the sort of thing that I would like to do on the channel. But uh, it, it's something that I would like to play in general. For example, I'm thinking of things like um, the, the sort of the spiritual successors to things like Space Chem, you know, Zachtronic Industries sorts of things. Um, Let's do this a bit differently. So here's what we're going to do. These redstone conduits are, are magical because I can put levers <laughs> threw them away. Put uh, levers on them. I'm actually probably going to want a third one of these. Get some, just a few more extra cobblestone. Six. Um, because, well, <laughs> there's still a couple. Other things I'd like to do. Actually, while we think about it, can we make lights? Um, lamp. Red lamp. There's some cool ideas about lamps here, but some of these involve stuff that I, I don't really have the effort. <laughs> Too much effort to make them. So glowstone and redstone, which is easy. Uh, redstone, glowstone. Come. We make the glowstone into blocks. Yeah. Make it like four. And then uh, we can probably make four of these. Ta -da! And then we can shove everything we don't want into here, and it will just go away. Um, don't need those. Don't need that. Going. And then don't need that. And. Like I should make some more of that. How did you make that? Remind me. Just some redstone in with the silicone, right? Just... Because I'm going to want some more of these conduits if this is going to work uh, the way I want it to, which it is if I allow it to. That's working, right? Cool. You can do that. We don't need you straight away. So, go in here. Actually, there's another thing we should be doing, which is. Do that later. This is hard already. Ah, uh, I guess I don't need to do this. I think about it. 
So if I do this is off, right? If I just do this, it turns on. Not turn on. One. Why are you not switched off? That's... Anyway. I don't need this, 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 or this now, although this does look ugly, I admit. So we will probably change this up. Oh. There, please. So this and this are now connected to the redstone signals being transmitted by those. So if I turn this on to active on redstone signal, first of all, why are you not doing anything? We need to void that fluid, don't we? Was I doing that? Why was I doing that? I do that? Uh, a bit confused. I'll have to look into that. See what we were doing, because this is obviously full. Um, oh, I'm just going to just empty it. Okay, fine. Um, it, it would like a void, a void tank or something like that. So you can... There's a liquid trash can. Trash can. Liquids, which is something we might want to end up doing here as well. It's the same as the other one, but a bucket. Anyway, we were looking at this. See this input, signal color red. Output, signal color not red. Um, this is apparently unaffected. Perfect. Well, this one is. It's not doing anything, right? This is on. This is off. It doesn't change. Let's talk about this one. This is the uh, pink and gross brown creator. So let's make this be input on brown. If we have a look at this one, we can make it be output on brown. Now, when I turn this on, it should start up. It didn't start up. Why are you not going? Anything for you to do? Hmm. Go. <laughs> Output strong signal. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, for example, if I were to put this here, it's off. See that? Then if I request this to be output on brown, it's on. Off. On. This is what we're going to do uh, in there. Also, let me show you. Show me your working area. Yeah, that's fine. Get killing. So this should be now be on, and we'll do the same to this. So this is the. Yeah, this could be green. So, uh, redstone. Output on green, and then this redstone. Input on green. Perfect. So then when I do this or this, this turns this off and this turns this off. I think that would probably work anyway, except for the fact that I would like to move those levers to be somewhere else. Meanwhile, uh, let's get some of this. Put some hither and thither. I believe if I put some here, here, might be enough. Here and here. And then I can put these on them. What I'm intending to do here is to light the room up sufficiently that things stop spawning. Uh, let's test it with a couple of more levers. This should work. So if we put F7 on, which we're good at, I like the noisy sleep. That seems to fit. There's nothing red there, so we can assume that that one works as well. I don't have enough levers. I don't need enough levers. Do. Make a little hole in the wall here, I guess. Start joining these together. Unfortunately, we haven't made enough, so let's come back. Or, the reason I made this out of cobblestone is that I can just repair it when I've walked through it. Without having to worry about it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Let me up. I've designed my base to be the most infuriating possible. I should have just teleported. Uh, more of that. Uh, uh, redstone, red, tender, red, stone. one, more of these please, I'll just make as much as I can, uh, off camera I'm going to have to do some of the other stuff like fix everything, <laughs> um, th there's a, a bunch of stuff that I need to do, administrative sort of stuff that I don't really want to do on camera, um, including making more resources, that sort of thing, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, well, got busy lives to leave, so I will do that when I'm watching Star Trek on Netflix. 
three, four of those. I need anything else? I don't think I need anything else. We'll do that later. Let me step in here. Left me. Lever. I didn't pick up my lever. Well. The trouble here is that it's not... This is another thing I do off camera, by the way, is to... Um, get all this sorted out so that it's a bit more... Odd... Oddly and not evenly sized. I mean, usually you want things to be an even size, but not today. Um, this one? Yeah. What we can do, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, let's put this here and this here. And this here and here. Then, there's one thing we're going to have to do, unfortunately, because this does not work this way by default, but that's okay. Uh, not my game. I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I, I didn't invent it. Shift left click this. Oops. Right click. Right, right click. No. Really? Making me do this? rude. Ah! <laughs> and of course I need a supply of stone to repair my fattings around, but I don't have a supply of stone. Right click the side, it will connect. Go and then uh, let us make input on red, and then all of these can be an output on red, and then when we turn lever on, all the red ones will turn on. So we will do that. Here, output on red. Can I just do this? Output on red and output on red. Perfect. Fill in this hole and I will probably fix it with smooth stone at some point, but not right now. There we go. So we've got a thing that turns the lights on and off, which we could probably do with some uh, glass in here. So, that you can have, but I really couldn't care less right now. This means that the enemies will start spawning once we're not nearby. There's one thing that we're going to want to do in future, um, very soon if we can manage it, which is to make a thing that I mentioned quite a long time ago, which is a drop of evil. The problem with a drop of evil is that it drops from wither skeletons, and, and that's it. So in order to make a wither skeleton, we uh, can... Well, we can spawn it with these things, right? So there's Wither Skeleton Essence, which is Wither Skeleton Seeds, which is a tier 5, uh, which requires Wither Skeleton Chunk, which requires Skulls. So we need the Wither Skeletons in the first place. Um, and that's from a thing we haven't even started on yet. The other thing we can do is that we can make a doll. I believe Enderman, Blaze, Basalts, Blue Slime, Shulker, Guardian, Blitz, Blizz. Oh. I'm not quite sure how to get to the point where we can actually have a drop of evil in the first place. Uh, I will look this up in between episodes because this seems like a problem to me. I do not know how to spawn the Wither Skeleton or turn the Skeleton into the Wither Skeleton because you'd normally have to go to the Nether to do that. And then let, not letting us go to the Nether, and I'm not really sure why, because they're mean and cruel. They don't want us to have nice things. It's two more ender pills in the time it's taken us to basically get a bunch of them for free in the mob farm, but that's okay. Dude, there are mobs are spawning again. Grand. Perfect. All right, well, that's a good episode. Um, I just want to apologize if I seem a little bit not entirely with it. I'm not entirely with it, so um, I'm just sort of trying to make a couple of episodes to tide me by the next couple of weeks. Uh, I would like to get the upload speed back to where it was. But that's going to be a while. So uh, again, I apologize for um, if I sound bored or, 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 or I don't know. What am I sounding? Whatever I'm sounding, I apologize for sounding it unless I'm sounding thoroughly interesting and uh, extremely, extremely watchable. But I don't think I am. And again, apologies for that. I hope you'll stick with me uh, while I work through uh, some stuff here at home. But until the next episode, enough feeling sorry for ourselves, and I hope that you will join me in the next one. But until then, 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you.